This is the vapor computer um, that a lot of people are familiar with. And this is a YZ250F. And um, everybody knows that there is really no extra power you can tap onto this uh, stator without creating too many problems. So I've tried everything, including from the kill switch to other things around the motorcycle. Nothing really, really worked. So I didn't want to spend money for a stator, but I wanted to have that background light that you could see over here right now. Um, so what I did is I uh, took the wire that comes from the from the stator that you're, you're supposed to give it power, and I installed a 9-volt battery. This 9-volt battery is just sitting over here on the side, just literally just sitting over here on the side, easy to replace. I have it for over a month, and it still runs with no problem whatsoever. Uh, so uh, I think it's going to last for months, because it's just one LED light that you have to power in the back. You don't have to buy anything fancy. You get these uh, 50 cents at the dollar store. Um, so all I did is just connected it to one of those uh, special connectors, you know, for the 9-volt battery. And I just have an extra one just hanging out over here. You can put it anywhere you want. Depends. This was just a test to see if it works, and it just happened like for a month. It's just sitting over here with no problem whatsoever. Just a zip tie holding it together. But uh, yes, this one powers on the, the vapor computer. So you could get the light and you could get uh, all the all the bells and whistles for the vapor. The only uh, downside of it is that it says low. Why? Because it's reading 9 volt instead of 12. So it thinks that the battery for the motorcycle is low, which this uh, motorcycle doesn't have a battery. So for those that are interested to install the vapor on the uh, motorcycle that does not have uh, a stator or a battery that you could tap onto, um, don't don't don't. Uh, uh, stress out too much. The easiest way is just put it on a 9 volt battery and uh, there will be more than enough. It will run for months at a time. Depends on how much you're riding. It turns off after a while so it doesn't stay on forever. It turns off after a while anyways and then um, it comes back on when you start uh, spinning the wheels. Um, the, the, the battery trick worked really really well for me. So since, since then uh, the stator works, re the, the, the uh, vapor works really really well. I don't have any problems with it whatsoever. Uh, that's the best way. I've had a couple of videos where I've attached it to the kill switch. I've attached it to other wires that are coming from the stator. Um, even though this is very tolerant for power, it just never really, really worked well. And it always caused kind of problems uh, with the bike. It was not running right. It was not starting right. So since I took, uh, I took it off and I put it on the battery, it's just completely out of the system. It doesn't create any problems and it works like a champ. 